Most crimes require both an actus reus, or voluntary act or omission, and mens rea, or a guilty mind. In Tabo Meli v. Reginum, we explore whether the actus reus and mens rea must overlap for a person to face criminal liability. Tabo Meli and three others devised a plan to kill a man and stage it as an accident to escape liability. Meli and the others invited the man into a hut, plied him with alcohol, and then struck him on the back of the head. Believing the man to be dead, Meli and the others rolled the body off a small cliff and staged the scene as an accident. But Meli and the others were mistaken, and the man wasn't dead, just unconscious. He subsequently died from exposure after being left at the bottom of the cliff in his unconscious state. Meli and the others were charged with murder. In their defense, they argued that they weren't liable for murder because, believing the man already dead, they lacked the requisite intent to kill when committing the act that in fact caused his death, namely, abandoning him at the bottom of the cliff. They argued that they should therefore be liable for a lesser homicide offense. Rejecting that argument, the High Court of Basutoland convicted Meli and the others of murder. Because Basutoland was a British colony, Meli and the others appealed to the United Kingdom's Privy Council, the highest court of appeal for colonial suits.